I kind of knew in my heart of hearts that she had leukaemia. We literally just dropped everything when she was diagnosed. We were up and down to Crumlin then for her treatment. Couldn't believe that we were taking the long walk down to St John's Ward. The Irish Cancer Society have staff up on St John's Ward in Crumlin. They were supporting us all the way. She was improving, we thought at the time. Woke up here one Monday and she was pure yellow. I figured it was jaundiced, so we brought her back down to Castle Bar. She started getting very sick. I could see her deteriorating over the next few days. She ended up in ICU with sepsis. She was dead. She wasn't able to move. It was a very scary place for a 13-year-old child. We were able to go in and out to her, but unfortunately at night time she was very much isolated on her own, which broke her heart. It was very hard to walk away from her every evening. After 10 days, she was settled enough that we were able to come home. We were coming up the road and uh, her football team were at the gate <laughs> with their flags and their, just see all the, the, the girls and the posters and everything. You know, they were fabulous. The Irish Cancer Society have been a huge support to our family over the last 16 months, firstly with Sinead and now unfortunately with me as well. I was diagnosed with pleomorphic globular carcinoma in situ. It's a rare breast cancer. And I remember sitting, at, looking at the professor and I says, I want a double mastectomy. And he said, are you sure? And I says, yes, I don't have time for any of this. I says, I have a child to get better. Our community came in. They helped with the sheep farming. They sheared the sheep. He even brought home the turf fires. All our local villages all got together to help us. Brendan was driving her up and down to Dublin twice a week, so there was a lot going on. It was a full-time job with her. We wouldn't have been able to be a family in some ways unless it was for the likes of the camps that the Irish Cancer Society have been running. We've been able to park cancer and just be a family and not have to worry about anything. When we were told last August that she was going to be in a wheelchair, she was absolutely devastated. But then we went on holidays in June and she was boogie boarding. And I just looked at her and I says, that's two fingers up to cancer right there now. 